Hey guys, welcome back to candle review number two of the day. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review of Yankee Candles Big Apple Christmas. I will link that review down below in the description box if you want to go back and watch in case you missed. But for this second review, we are going to be discussing another new Yankee scent for 2024 holiday. This one is a part of the Apres Ski Collection, which is one of the new um, collections for Yankee this holiday season. And this is going to be of Santa One Skis. I will have one review a little bit later of the Slope Side Spritz, which is also from this collection, which is this one right here. So stay tuned for this review. But um, first, we're starting with Santa on skis. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this scent. I don't know what it is about it, but something about it just kind of does not work with me. Um, it's not an awful scent. I do think I'll be able to burn it and finish it and be, you know, okay. I'll survive, but not something that I'm going to repurchase, and it's not something that I really enjoy. But um, I don't know what it is. I'll try and, like, break down what about this I don't love, but if you kind of have any um, opinions on it yourself, I would love to hear that down below in the comments. Am I the only one who's just not loving this one? Um, and if you aren't as well, let me know what it is because I can't really pinpoint that, but sometimes that happens with fragrances and I think it just comes down to like your body chemistry. Just like sometimes you don't enjoy a scent and that's kind of how I feel with this one. Um, so yeah, let me know. Um, I will link this one down below in the description box. So if you're wanting to purchase, of course do so. Just because I don't love the scent doesn't mean you won't. Um, always take these reviews with a grain of salt because um, truly it is up to you. I mean, just because I don't like something doesn't mean you won't and same vice versa and same goes with performance as well just because something was really like for me doesn't mean it will be for you obviously like your house goes into it your own personal like sniffer like your nose some people are more sensitive than others so it really all is just um personal and it's not you know one size fits all so definitely try it out if you're interested but we're gonna go ahead and get into santa on skis here um first off the label so cute i actually really like the labels in these collection. I think that this is probably the best labels that Yankee has done with these three wicks so far. Um, other than I did enjoy the spring ones, but I did not like the fall and I don't know if I love the holiday ones still, but these upraised ski ones are really cute with kind of like that snow dusted look to them and um, the little cute skiing pictures. All right, let's go ahead and get into the fragrance here. So this one says, move over Rudolph. Santa is geared up and ready to hit the slopes, leaving notes of clove bud, tart berries, and vanilla in his wake. Your top notes here are mottled blueberry, cardamom, and basil. Your middle notes are black pepper, clove bud, tart berry. And your base notes here are mulled wine, accord, vanilla, and warm woods. All right, so I do think that the most prominent notes that you're getting here are berry and vanilla. I do get kind of like a sweet berry vibe, but not as much tart. I don't really feel like this is super tart for me. The berries that I'm getting, um, I'm going to pick up the lid, by the way, because, again, I feel like I'm still trying to figure this one out. But the berries I'm getting, I definitely think I get strawberry and blueberry for sure. Those are like the two main ones that I'm getting, and it does say blueberry, but I'm definitely getting some type of red berry as well, whether that be a strawberry or a raspberry even maybe. And it is mixed with that kind of like fluffy, creamy vanilla. I think the vanilla actually leans more perfumey vanilla than it does gourmand. There is a difference, and I do feel like this kind of has some gourmand vanilla vibes because it does almost smell like a whipped buttercream, but... At the same time, it smells like a vanilla that you would get in like a vanilla, warm vanilla sugar body care type scent. Um, so I think this maybe leans a little bit perfumey. Um, some of the odd notes in here that I'm not getting like basil, I have no clue where that is pulled from. I don't really get that. Cardamom, I don't pick up cardamom either. Cardamom is a very distinct spice note. Normally when you smell it, you can kind of pick that out pretty easily, but I'm not picking that up in here. And I actually think if I smelled any type of spice, it would just be super odd with this type of scent. So ignore those two. Um, black pepper, I really don't get that either. The clove bud, again, I don't get that. I do feel like I get a little bit of the wine accord in here. Maybe that is what's like really bothering me with this one. Um, I think that it might be that. It's not like super boozy or present, but it kind of has like 
a little bit of like a wine, maybe like the grape smell, because I'm not a big fan of grape. That is one note that I don't love. It's like a grape, because I just think it comes off as like artificial smelling a lot of the time and just overly sweet. And I feel like maybe that is what I'm struggling with. But um, yeah, there's just something about this one I don't love. Um, it's funny because my coworker, it's actually my manager, this is like her favorite one from the entire collection. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't love it. Um, yeah, it's super odd. I don't know what it is, but I'm just not a fan. Um, so yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you share the same opinion with me. Um, if you're not a fan or if you are, let us know. We won't bully, I promise. Um, I just want to know kind of what everybody's opinions is on, uh, or opinions are on this one. So sound off down below. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the burn performance because that is where this one is doing pretty well. Um, in terms of just the overall burn and quality, it's doing great. I have not had any issues. Um, I kind of, like I said in the last video, just love this three wick because it has a really good clean burn from that soy paraffin blend wax. The wicks are pretty good. I feel like these are a little bit big. I probably could have trimmed them, but you never want to trim these wicks too short because you could eventually get puny wicks if you make them too short, but these have done good so far. Um, just a little bit of darkness. I do think I really have to watch the burn time with these. Um, treat it just like a Bath & Body Works candle, so no more than like three to four hours, but so far other than that, this has burned pretty well for me. Um, strength and throw on this one, I would put it right at about a medium. I would say this is definitely stronger than the Big Apple Christmas one is. I feel like that one for me is definitely on the lighter end, where I think that this one is maybe like a solid seven, I would say. Not the strongest candle ever. I actually think that this slope side spritz that I'll be reviewing next is a little bit stronger, but this one is pretty much a solid medium, I would say throws pretty well. I burn it mostly in the living room and it does well in there. It does travel a little bit, but it's not like a house filler, I would say, but it's pretty good for the room that it's in. Um, and yeah, overall it's doing good for me. So although I'm not a huge fan of this scent, I still do, I guess, appreciate it in a way. I can still um, finish it. I don't necessarily love it. I won't be craving to buy more of this, but I'll be able to finish it and appreciate it for what it is. That's kind of how I am with candles. Even the ones I don't love, I can normally see the beauty in them. Um, I think that's how life is. So yeah, that is my opinions on this one. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here and do stay tuned for that last review coming up a little bit later today. I'll see y'all in that video. Bye.